Hey everybody, this is Nina with the Downtown Podcast. I'm here today with Jim Quick. He is the CEO of Quick Learning and the co-founder of Superhero U. Jim spoke here this past February for the Downtown Speaker Series. Uh, he has taught speed reading, memory improvement, and accelerated learning for the past two decades. Welcome back to Vegas, Jim. Hey, thanks for having me, Nina. It's a pleasure to be here. Hi to everyone who's watching. Of course. Well, what have you been up to? What's um, what's in for this year? Well, we're really excited. I mean, we're excited to be back here because downtown Vegas really makes you smarter. And that's really the work that we do for yeah. the past, as you mentioned, the past couple of decades. Yeah. We've been on a mission to change the way the world learns, to upgrade nice. everyone's brain, the collective intelligence of the planet, and really possibly impact as many brains as we can. Awesome. Again, I'm really geared up for this age that we live in, this fast-paced technology age. Awesome. Very exciting. So, um, for those who didn't get a chance to see you the yeah. last time you presented down here, um, could you tell us a little bit about Quick Learning and uh, the Superhero You as well, what okay. you do with that? Absolutely. Well, Quick Learning, uh, my name is Jim Quick with Quick Learning, yeah. and I uh, help people learn quickly. Quick really is my last name. You, you know, with a name like Quick, your life and your destiny was pretty much planned out. I, <laughs> I had to be a runner back in school. I have to be careful when I'm driving not to be pulled over for speeding. <laughs> and I get to teach speed reading and speed recall and speed learning, and that's really uh, my passion, my purpose. And so what quick learning does is it gives you real usable strategies, tips, techniques, to be able to read faster, improve your focus, to be able to save time, to be able to remember things like names and faces, uh, people's you know, giving a speech without notes, learning foreign languages, passcodes, pin numbers, vocabulary, spelling, anything that makes you brighter, faster, and smarter. Awesome. And that's really the work that we live in. Very cool. So what inspired you to start this? Um, my inspiration is my desperation. If people have seen, I've done a number of talks for downtown, um, for downtown project, including the, one of the very first ones. Yes. And people see me do these demonstrations where I'll memorize, like these memory feats, memorize people's names in the audience or a really long digit number or words. Yes. And I always tell people that I don't do this to impress you, I do this to express to you what's really possible. In fact, I'm absolutely certain as you watch this, no matter your age, your background, your level of education, that you have genius inside of you. You're this incredible gift that we have between our ears, this brain, it doesn't come with an owner's manual. And school really teaches you more what to learn, like math and history and science, but they don't always show you how to learn these subjects. You know, there's not a lot of classes on how to think for yourself, how to read faster, how to remember more. Mm -hmm. And that's really what quick learning does. And, awesome. and that's really our, our passion. Superhero U is our community where we want to be able to assemble and train mental superheroes. Because I think it's interesting. All animals have their own superpowers. They can fly, they can climb, they can mm -hmm. breathe underwater. They have super hearing. But human beings, we're not particularly fast. We're not particularly strong. But our powers, if you will, is the powers of our mind to think, to solve problems, to learn, to create, to listen, to, you know, to do all these wonderful things. And so Superhero U is a gathering that we do of some of the most amazing minds. And we invite everyone who's watching, you know, we like to give, actually give you as a gift some amazing footage on how to remember names and, and other things. Awesome. Just as a thank you for, for being part of this Las Vegas community. Awesome. Great. And then, as you know, there's a lot of entrepreneurs down here. Yes. What um, advice would you give to entrepreneurs <sighs> Uh, just starting up or yeah. kind of going through some rough waters right now, what would you tell them? Yeah, I would say uh, there's a lot of different advice that I would, I would say, but I mean, I've been a lifelong entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I've never, um, I've never gotten a paycheck ever in my life. Oh. And so a serial entrepreneur, and I think an entrepreneur is somebody who just adds, you know, very new value to the, to the world. And um, I think one of the biggest challenges entrepreneurs face mm -hmm. is information overload information overwhelm. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many books, wonderful books, and you know, speakers that have come downtown here have spoken and they give out the books or they buy the books, but those books end up sitting on someone's shelf. Yeah. You know, and there's wonderful information you know, where somebody has decades of experience, and for example, they put into a book, mm -hmm. and you could download that experience in days, you know, but who has the time to learn all of it? So I think one of the big obstacles for entrepreneurs to take things to the next level is in order for your business to be better, you have to be better. In order for your business to grow, you need your brain to grow. But the challenge is a lot of us still have this 20th century brain because we grew up with a 20th century education that prepared us for a world that simply doesn't exist anymore. This old world assembly line, one size fits all, you know, parents for a world that, you know, to work in factories. Yep. But now the amount of information now is doubling at staggering speeds. A lot of people, they say it's like taking a sip of water out of a fire hose. Mm -hmm. And so I would say the challenge is information overwhelm. Mm -hmm. And the solution is to upgrade your brain. 
that your brain is your most powerful wealth building asset that you have because we live in an age where it's not based on on brute strength it's mainly it's based on brain strength it's not muscle power it's all based on mind power so i would say upgrade your brain learn some skills called meta learning meta learning is this idea of learning how to learn and i think that's one of the most important things that you could do so speed reading memory improvement advanced thinking critical thinking skills all of those will transform your life and also transform your business as an entrepreneur. Awesome. Thank you for that. And um, I know you're coming downtown again pretty soon. I know. Could you let our viewers know what uh, you have coming up? Yes. I mean, we, we're down here every um, six weeks or seven weeks because awesome. we're really excited about, about uh, what Tony and everyone here is doing. Yeah. And so uh, in an effort to help downtown Vegas make you smarter we're gonna have this presence where we're just doing these wonderful talks so we encourage you to come down to uh, to one of our talks and you know for downtown project we're also going to be doing a superhero you later this year in conjunction with uh, life is beautiful at the end of October so we're gonna be a big component of the educational uh, series for that awesome. and uh, we'd love to meet you in person and uh, and also to, uh, to also give them their, their free gifts also great well, we'll get to the free gifts in just a second. I have one more question yeah. for you. Um, so there are um, a lot of reasons or mental blocks or memory blocks per se. Yeah. And I know you studied, um, you have extensive study in this. What would you um, tell our viewers are the most common uh, memory blocks, learning yeah. blocks, and how to overcome those? Okay. Um, I would say that what people say to us mm -hmm. on a regular basis is they feel a little overwhelmed, right? They feel a little forgetful, like maybe no matter what their age, mm -hmm. it's that senior moments are coming a little bit early. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can relate to this. Yes. It's like, you know, where did I put my purse or my wallet oh, yes. or my cell phone? <laughs> Ever found yourself calling your own cell phone, hoping you kept it on <laughs> so it rings somewhere? Ever read, read a page in a book, got to the end and just forgot what you just read? Yes. And that's a big challenge for, for a lot of people. And so I would say, um, the lack of presence is a big issue for people. You know, I always tell people, remember mom, M-O-M. The first M is if you want to remember things, be motivated to remember them. Mm -hmm. You know, ask yourself, what's this going to do for me? The O stands for observation. Mm -hmm. So if I asked everybody at home who's watching this to take your hand and, and just shake it out like this, make a fist and then put it to your chin, 90% of the people put it here put instead it of here. Yeah because they're not paying attention. Just mm -hmm. as like if you're doing a search for something online, like Google, mm -hmm. and you're on Google, like how many times a day are you on Google, yet yeah. how many people are willing to bet their lives that, you know, naming the colors of those letters, you know, in that specific order. So a lot of yeah. people, they don't have the O, which is the observation, ah. you know, and that's a big issue for a lot of people right now. I was recently, um, last week, a few weeks ago with President Clinton, oh, and wow. uh, he's remarkable. I mean, he's got incredible, besides, Independent of your political views, you know, this gentleman has incredible charisma, connector, you know, real expert communicator, and he's also known for having this incredible memory. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got to speak with him, I was asking him about, you know, what memory tools he uses for remembering people's names. Because if you want to show someone you care about them, mm -hmm. start with remembering their name. I think that's one of the most yes. important for entrepreneurs, it's one of the most important business etiquette networking skills you could have. And, um, and I noticed that he said that. He doesn't use any memory technique per se. What he does is he really cares about the answer. And so, you know, Clinton is known for his powerful presence. Yeah. What I notice his secret is, is he's powerfully present. Like he's powerfully present with the person. He's not looking over your shoulder, trying to, you know, seeing who else is in the room or he's not having a conversation inside his mind like many of us do when we're meeting someone for the first time. And I think going back to observation, the O and mom, that's very important. And that's finally, awesome. the M and mom, the second M is mechanics. And those are really the things that we teach. You know, it's the recipe, if you will, for how to memorize a speech without mm -hmm. notes, how to be able to learn a foreign language, you know, in rapid time, how to be able to read faster. Awesome. Yeah. Great. And then if our viewers want to get more information um, just on what you're doing, yeah. can you give them a URL that they can follow? Sure. Um, they can go to our website, www.superherou.com, mm -hmm. and you'll find lots of great training there. That's uh, Y-O-U.com. Uh, they can follow us on Facebook, obviously at the same thing, or follow me Perfect. personally at jimquick.com. It's K-W-I-K. And also, we, have, uh, we set up this wonderful gift for you, that if you take out your cell phones and you text us at... 914 610 4412. 
then just text us your email address and I will send you three wonderful trainings. I'll train, send you a training, a video training on how to remember the names and faces of everyone mm -hmm. you meet, one on how to do incredible mental math, like a human calculator, awesome. and one on brain healthy lifestyle, like the foods you should eat, the foods you should mm -hmm. avoid, and a really wonderful training. So again, just text your email address, nothing else, and it's 914-610. 4412 and I can show you how to memorize that number in a, <laughs> in a future show. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds great. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Thanks so much, Nina. I wish your days be full. Lots of life, lots of laughter, lots of love, and of course, lots of learning. Awesome. Thank you. I think that was better. <laughs> that was actually really good. Hashtag.